Well, 40 years ago, one of the most influential, most exciting and scariest movies ever erupted onto cinema screens. That movie was Ridley Scott's masterpiece, Alien. A new documentary called Memory, Origins of Alien explores the significance of the film and examines the influences that were key to its creation. Dan O'Bannon, the screenwriter of the film, based on a story that he and Ronald Suchet wrote together, was born in rural Missouri with not a television or phone in sight. He found inspiration in science fiction. When he failed to get a co-directing credit on John Carpenter's Dark Star, which he co-wrote and in which he stars, he went off determined to make a sci-fi movie of his own. The result with Suchet, originally called Memory, was Alien. O'Bannon's widow, Diane, gives great insight into the man and his influences, one of which was the work of the Swiss artist Hans Giger, whose art was significant in the creation of the alien, particularly when Ridley Scott was shown it. The film begins in Greece at the Temple of Apollo in Delphi, where the Furies represent avengers of crime and speak for the repressed feminine. An alien is seen to represent the repressed feminine's retribution. The sexual allusions to rape of the male and to the visuals of all forms of the alien are also explored. The film looks to the past for influences on the film. O'Bannon famously said he didn't steal from anybody, he stole from everybody. So we're given insight into the films, the literature that the film references. The success of Alien was seen as a combination of the talents of the director Ridley Scott, the screenwriter Dan O'Bannon, and Hans Giger. Memory, Origins of Alien is the work of writer-director Alexandre O. Philippe, and it is absolutely fascinating for all of us who love and admire Alien. The detail in the research with experts from various fields offering their insight into the film is impressive. This is an absolutely superb documentary. It's so good, it's almost as if Alien as the real film doesn't exist. I mean, it need not have existed for this film to have been so good. It's a wonderful investigation into how a piece of art is created. And yeah. that, that the, it's so well done to say that the art itself may never have been there. It's, it's like it could be a fictional movie oh. about a movie. It's so cleverly done. It's totally explicable on every level. Yet the, 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 the ideas that it deals with are so arcane in so many ways. And what a, what, a, what a character is O'Banner. I mean, he's just absolutely fascinating. And yeah. Ridley Scott, that fascinated me too. You see him all the time in the clipping, the behind-the-scenes uh, clips of the making of the film, and he's doing everything. He's helping yeah. make the props. He's, he, he photographs most of it himself. Well, yeah, this is um, the thing. And they, they shot with those great big cameras, mm. and a lot of it was handheld. Yeah, he's you got know? his shoulder and this and holding it like this <laughs> and uh, up against the, pushing it into the actors' faces. It's fantastic to look at. I, I just love this this movie. And uh, one of the interesting things about it is the way that the interviews, and there are many of them, are handled. What he does is include the interviews in little bits of machinery and into, into comic strips and things. So it's not just talking heads, but they're talking heads inside something else. It's very clever, this movie. I think, and it's, uh, you know, just just, you know, giving you stuff to think about mm. um, that, you know, t goes beyond the film itself. I just, I really loved it. I think this is a, a fabulous, fabulous mm. experience, this documentary. I would give it four and a half I'm stars. I'm giving it four and a half too. I'm absolutely infatuated with this. You see a major curse in the form of the alien, who is very much a fury, responding to an imbalance. We're looking at a story where there is a piece of material prop that is now completely alive in our imaginations. It lives in our dreams, it lives in our cultural conversation, it's one of the biggest cultural dreams we've ever had. <laughs> 